Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Oxygen OS 10 port from the OnePlus 7 for our Redmi Note 5 or the Redmi 5 Plus, which is code named as WINS, the single camera variant. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So, guys, this is the OnePlus 7 Android 10 port. So, let's go into about phone, and as you can see, uh, the device name OnePlus 7, and the version it's Android 10. Uh, and the second batch is 1 July 2020 and it comes with a dark edges kernel which is the best kernel for our device till now so that's nice so guys this is the best port available for our device right now the oxygen os and yeah i'm saying like this because all of the bugs have been fixed now really small amount of bugs are remaining now the only one bug i see is upi apps don't work like if you want them to work you have to put the sim card which are using in second sim it will not work in the first sim so yeah just a minor issue just put the sim in the second slot and you're good to go if you're using dual just set that to default and yeah that will work to fine because yeah you know while signing in you have to use that only so that is not a concern also it's based on the new vendor that's why the main problem is been fix all the bugs and also the lags have been reduced so minor lags you can face I just faced, you know, really rarely it is uh, I face while, you know, removing the apps from the recent app store. And if you are going to complain about the gaming and all that stuff, just don't do heavy gaming. Normal gaming will work because heavy gaming is not meant for this four year old device. So, yeah, just skip it instead of commenting lagginess and all that in gaming. Yeah, just go through it. And also the one thing is uh, the app drawer, really less number of apps are available as default so that's really nice also you can install uh, update the default apps update actually the default apps from play store now which has also been fixed fingerprint also it's been fixed and face unlock too now let's move towards that stuff too let's move towards the face unlock now so guys both the fingerprint and the face unlock are working fine and fingerprint also has been fixed if you are facing issues before so here we go first let's take a look at the fingerprint and it works fine now let's take a look at the face unlock and here you can see, uh, I hope it can see me and yes as you can see it has unlocked and also you can set it to auto unlock so if it detects the face it will just uh, directly unlock and to set it as auto unlock let's go into settings into your security into face unlock oh, put the password or pin whatever you have and auto unlock and then you can see it will just auto unlock quickly that's really nice and quick wow that's amazing so yeah the speed as you can see it's the oxygen of speed it's not dependent on like it depends on both the hardware and the software so yeah the oxygen of software is also really nice so yeah hats off to them and yeah both the things working fine also guys i'm using this g cam and it also works fine uh just forgot to let you know about that if you're going to use camera just use the gcam i'm using the 7.3 if you want a link i'll just place it in the link down below you can use it which is working totally fine for me and yep and yes that is it uh, i don't want to go through the installation because it's easy just to wipe your uh, previous rom the clean flash thing just install the oxygen os port if you want magisk you have to flash table magisk only because yeah it is only supported then yeah flash table magisk and reboot and yeah there you go you can set it up and enjoy a lag free and bug free oxygen os so yep that is it for this video and if you guys have liked this video press the like button if not then the dislike button also subscribe here's the red button subscribe for more videos and i will see you guys in the next video till then bye bye and take care bye bye